Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing one of my favorite moves. It's a variation on the chest stand, but you're going to take both legs off of the hoop. That's right, you're doing a split with no support in the chest stand, but don't worry, it's much easier than it looks. It's actually a really, really fun and simple move. But first, it's the usual advert for my channel. Please take a minute to subscribe and like my videos. It really does make a difference with the YouTube algorithm and I appreciate it a whole lot. So take a minute to check out my other videos and subscribe. Advert done, here are your pro tips. My first pro tip is to have your hips in the dead center of the hoop. That means arching your back slightly so you can bring your hips up right above your shoulders and have them really inside the hoop. If your hips are too far back, you are not going to be very successful with this move. My second pro tip is to get ready for a little wiggle. The hoop just naturally moves side to side a bit. Something about the physics of this move just makes you wiggle a bit. It's normal, don't worry. And as always, make sure you're practicing above a mat. That way, if the wiggle takes you by surprise, you won't have to be scared. And finally, when you bring your legs to hook them back on the top, you are going to have sunk down slightly as you were doing the split. So really reach up with your leg before you try to hook it. That's just good technique anyway, but it's especially important here. Reach really far up, then hook your knee. And those were your pro tips, so now let's break it down. We're gonna start with a standard chest stand. I have a more in-depth tutorial about a normal chest stand, and the link to that should be at the top of your screen right now. But just briefly, you're going to come up to the top of the hoop, whatever way you would like. I'm doing a flying Russian split here. Next up, you're going to bring your head and shoulders back to the back of the hoop. Place the bottom bar of the hoop on your chest, if you are a smaller person or if you have a very large hoop, you might have to be ready to drop down a little bit to let your chest reach the bottom bar. Reach through the center of the hoop with your arms, grab onto the sides of the hoop with nice straight arms and your palms facing back towards you. Then place one heel on the top of the hoop next to the span set. Take your other heel off and this is where we're gonna start to be a little bit different. I like to take a minute here to firstly adjust my hips, trying to get them right above my shoulders, and secondly, get my bearings, because I know I'm gonna be letting go with both feet. Next up, take that free leg back behind the hoop, keep your hips up, don't let them go back, and when you're ready, you're going to push very slightly with that heel that's on the top, and bring your front leg forward. You do need to do this quickly and to slightly push because it's easier to maintain your balance that way. Use your abs and hold yourself in that split position. And this is where you're probably wiggling a little bit. Do not worry about the wiggle. It's totally normal, like I said before. Finally, bring up your front leg and hook it over the top of the hoop. Bring your back leg back through the center of the hoop, reach up and hook that one too. Bring your head and chest and shoulders back through the center so that they are once again in front of the hoop and you've come back to your knee hang hocks position. Here's the whole thing one more time in real time so you can see how it works. This is a super fun move. It's also a crowd pleaser. This is another thing that you can kind of play up to make it look more difficult than it is so that you get lots of applause for it. And one more time, I'll just remind you to please subscribe and like my videos. There are lots and lots of them. And if you want something a little bit simpler or a little bit more strength based or a short choreography to improve your flow skills, I've got all of those over there. So make sure you check it out and subscribe. And with that, I will see you guys next time.